This is a custom lesson from accesslearningzone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to score projects with multiple criteria. Well, what does that mean? Well, we have a list of projects with a project name and the customer ID and all that stuff. And we have a bunch of different categories. All right, size, location, market, and so on. And based on the values of these different categories, like if the size is small or medium or large, we need to be able to score the project with a number of points. All right, if location changes and market changes and so on, calculate the points down here below. This question comes to me from Keith. He says, I'm new to Access, and I work for a construction company. I've created a database of all the upcoming projects that we're tracking, and all this information is in a single table called Projects. Now we want to be able to score or rank the projects given a certain set of criteria, like size, location, timing, etc. I've added a total score field to my projects table, and I would like this calculated score to come from separate table or tables, but I'm not sure how to go about this, and this is where I'd like your assistance. I've tried to create separate tables for each of the 40 different elements, along with the points awarded for each element. For instance, one is market sector. The choices might be one commercial, two institutional, three industrial, and so on, with, say, 50 points for commercial, 75 points for institutional, and so on. I'm hoping to set this up so that we can change the points in the future. I've tried using the DLOOKUP function with no luck. Any advice you can offer, along with videos that should be buying and watching, would be appreciated. Thanks in advance, Keith. All right. So if I understand this correctly, you've got a list of projects and some criteria. All right, I've got size, location, market, and timing. And each one of these different criteria gets a weight. For example, the size of the project, small, medium, or large, will give 10, 20, or 30 points accordingly. Let's say we prefer large projects over small ones. Location, right? I got three cities in here, for example. It could be anything you wanted, though. Chicago, New York, Buffalo. Let's say I'm in Buffalo, so I want to give preference to Buffalo projects because they're easier to do, obviously. Now, in your email to me, you said you've created separate tables for each of these different elements. I wouldn't do it that way. I would create one table with all of your criteria in it and have different categories for the criteria. Let me show you. Okay, here's what I'm going to set up for my project T. I've got an ID, which is just a project ID, the auto number, a project name, a customer ID, which would link to my customer table. I'm not going to build one for this example, but that's where that would go. A start date and a completion date. Now, I'm not going to put the score in here. You could, if you want to, actually store the score in the table, but since we're going to be calculating that score based on a variety of other factors, there's no real reason to have to store that in the project table unless you want to be able to manually edit it. If you want to just come in here and type in a score of 5,000, then yes, you need to store it in the table. But I'm going to assume that we're going to always rely on the calculation from the database so we don't need to store that in the project table. If I'm wrong and you do need to store it, let me know and I'll show you how to do it. But this way that I'm going to show you is easier. Okay, I've just thrown in some projects, right? New warehouse, new wing for the library, and so on. Given them some fictional customer IDs and start dates. And there's my project table. Now what I'm going to make is I'm going to make a category table. All right, these categories here. Size, location, market, and timing. All right, so let's make a table for the categories for our criteria. This is literally just going to be an ID and a category name. That's it. All right, and I'll save this as my category table. All right, primary key. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's fill some data in. All right, category name. All right, we got size, location, market, and timing. And you can add more categories if you want. That's fine. All right, close that. Now we need details for each category, right? For size, we need small, medium, and large, and how many points that's worth. All right, so let's make another table. All right, ID. This will be, let's call this my criteria name, and then how many points is it worth? And that'll just be a number. Now, each criteria gets assigned to a category. So if I look at size, I don't see educational. I just want to see the 
criteria for that category. So category ID. All right, that'll be linked back to my category table. All right, so let's save this. This will be my criteria table. All right, primary keys right there. Now let's open these both up side by side so you can see them. Okay, first criteria. Let's do size first. All right, so we'll do small, worth 10 points. And what category ID is that? Well, that's one, right? Size. All right, we got medium is worth 20 points, category one. And large, worth 30 points, category one. Now we're ready to do location. Okay, we got, we got uh, what do we got? Chicago. It's worth 10 points. That's location. New York. And Buffalo. And that's worth 50 points. All right. And so on. Okay. And I just typed the rest of them in for you. There's commercial, educational, and government, category three. And category four is month, quarter, and year. See how the criteria relates to the category. And the categories are all right up here. Now, at this point, we have a choice. We can do this the hard way, which is going to involve some programming, some VBA code. Or we can do this the easy way, which just involves adding some extra fields to our tables. If I were going to build this as a professional project for one of my clients, I personally would do it the hard way with the VBA code because it's the best way to do it. It creates a properly normalized and relational database. However, since you said in your question that you're a beginner slash intermediate user, I'm going to show you the easy way to do this for now because I think the VBA code might overwhelm you. So I'll show you the easy way to do it. If down the line you decide you want to see the more complex VBA solution, then we can do that as well. But for now, let's see the simple way to do this. We have to assign all these categories and criteria to each project. The hard way would be to create a separate table called a cross-reference table or a junction table, where we would then have the category and the criteria and the project in each record, and then we'd create that as a subform on the main form. But adding and editing records becomes a nightmare because some refresh and update problems exist. And again, I'm not going to go into all that right now. The easy solution is simply to add a record for each category to the project table and then you can just manually add those as combo boxes on your form. That's a fine solution. It'll work good for you. The only, where, only place you'll have a problem is if you want to add a category later. Changing the criteria is not a problem. You can change the points. You can add new criteria. That's easy. But adding new categories just involves, again, a little bit of database design work by adding another combo box to your form. I'm going to show you the easy way, though. We have four categories right now, size, location, market, and timing. And you're probably going to have others. I think in your question you said you had 40. That's fine. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to add fields for these into our project table. All right, so let's go to Project T and go to Design. And right down here, we'll just simply add in those categories. I'm going to prefix each one of those with cat. So cat size, and these are just numbers. Cat location, and I spelled it wrong number and cat market and cat timing again in a perfect world these would all be in a separate table but this is fine for now this will work you'll see and now for each project to be able to pick a size location market and so on as a combo box let's make a form out of this I'm going to save this and close it and let's create a form all right project table create form. Access throws this together for me. Now, one of the things I don't like about Access 2007 is it creates this big header here. All right, I'm going to get rid of this thing. I'm going to go to Design View and select all this stuff. It tries to make it pretty. I don't like it. All right, and I'm just going to shrink up these fields a little bit. Okay, and there we go. Now, over here on the right, it gives me these guys as text fields, which is okay, but I want these to be combo boxes so I can pick from the list here. All right, so what I'm going to do is, let's go back to design view. I'm going to get rid of these guys. I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to create combo boxes from scratch in here. All right, in fact, let me just resize this stuff so it's not taking up quite so much space. All right, let's drop some combo boxes in here. 